Hey guys, welcome back. So today we're outside. It's beautiful. It's in the 50s. It's probably the only day in December it's going to be like this. So we're going to take advantage of it. We're outside. I have a honeysuckle bush that I'm going to try to cut out and dig all of it out. Uh, there's some other brush out here I want to try to clean up a little bit. And then behind me in our, uh, we'll call it a weed garden. Uh, it's all overgrowth. We're going to try to trim some of that back and create another layer uh, in our hookah culture beds. Um, but just doing a little bit of cleanup today. I do have a new tool, a new machete I want to try out and use. It's a little on the windy side, so we're going to get started. It's not done, but we're making progress. So now we're gonna move on to the thicket area. This is completely overrun by weeds. And from what I understand from talking to the neighbors is it was filled with buckthorn. And you can start to see some of it. It's all died off and starting to kick up the roots and the stumps when I go over this area. So the idea is I wanna go through this whole area, start chopping back the weeds and searching for all of the buckthorn and start just getting rid of those stumps so we have a nice flat area, a nice clean area to work with, and hopefully get a butterfly garden all the way through here. All right, so start to cut back the thicket. This is what I've got. It's a machete by Bare Bones. I don't know, I think it's pretty sick looking. I saw it and I didn't have a machete, so I thought I might as well get it. I love their tools. They are great condition. They are durable, they're thick, they're sturdy. So I thought I'd give this a shot and start cutting back a lot of this thicket. And then I've got my pickaxe to dig up the roots. We have our first couple buckthorn stumps right here. After years of watching Fortune Fire and the judges talking about a blade rolling in their hand, I finally experienced it. Over the last hour, this thing is rolling in my hand constantly, and I'm not sure what sort of adjustment I need to make or if I just need to get a different machete. All right, so next up we've got, from Bare Bones, their field axe. We're moving further down to where some of the woody stuff is, just to give this a try. Uh, this is gonna be a several day or week project that may end up finishing up in the spring, but we're gonna keep chopping at it, literally, and see what we can get back. Um, right now, I'm gonna try working on some of the woody stuff. There is some buckthorn in here that I'm gonna try to cut back with this. So you just, just see how it works. And then we'll finish up and then that'll be it for today. So let's get going.
While clearing this area, we found a groundhog den. It starts underneath the porch over here, and the back door is in this berm out in this little thicket area. Now, we have since evicted the groundhog, and the hole has now been uh, made home for a bunch of chipmunks. But this is a safety issue, so we're going to fill this in so the boys don't get hurt. All right, just before I clean up, I have a few conclusions I thought I'd throw in. And that is gonna be that one, this is not a one day job. This is gonna take me probably several days to a week to get done. The machete and the ax are cool toys. I'm sure they have a purpose, but for doing what I'm doing, they were, not, they were effective. They did the job, but they made things slightly more difficult. There are better tools for this job. I had these available, I had yet to use them, so I wanted to give them a try. Uh, the ax did not, it, as you can see, it was more of a uh, massacre of the branch than it was a clean cut that the trimmers were. So for future, I will continue to use those, excuse me, the loppers. I will continue to use these loppers. And then uh, for the rest of this, there's gotta be a better tool for cutting this back than the machete. Uh, it's working, I'm clearing, it's doing a good job, but it's very slow going. Um, so I'm going to keep at it. I'm trimming around all of the staghorn because I want to see where they all are. <clears throat> I'm not taking any of them down until I get this area cleared. I see where it is. Uh, I will strategically remove them. So this will start to grow up. We will still get some new life here. We'll have those uh, sumacs, excuse me, staghorn sumacs. We'll have those sumacs throughout here and hopefully have like a little thicket of forest or cover of those sumacs. I know my neighbor said he really kind of enjoys the color of them. So uh, we finally can see our arborvitae again. Uh, they vary in size, but man, there's a lot of them. They may get transplanted next year. I'm not entirely certain, or they may stay here and we'll do something with this area a little bit further. But that's going to be it for today. I'm going to clean up, get the boys in. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you soon.